good morning class once again i hope that you all will be fine and safe at your home as we are studying the chapter first from economics till here we have completed in previous video and now we will see the remaining hyv first of all i want to ask you hyv what is hyv hyv seeds what is the full form of hyv and from which revolution is it related to it is related to green revolution and its full form is high yield varieties of seeds and it is related to modern farming for high yielding varieties we need the combination of for better production and best result we have need hy seeds irrigations chemical fertilizers and pesticides pesticide is also called insecticides okay now see remain farmers of punjab haryana and western uttar pradesh were the first to try out the modern farming method in india farmers of punjab and haryana and uttar pradesh at these three places in india first time the modern farming were introduced okay the farmers in these regions set up tubes for irrigation and made up made use of hyv seeds chemical fertilizers and pesticides in farming first time at these three places what farmers started they first of all set up tubes for irrigation with the help of tubes they started irrigation and made use of hyv seeds chemical fertilizers pesticides in the farming some of them bought farm machinery like tractors and thrashers which made plugging and harvesting faster some of them start machinery like tra tractors okay first of all the machinery also introduced the machinery were also the part of modern farming okay machinery were also the part of modern farming so they purchased they bought they used tractor and thresher for plugging bonically and harvesting fasal ko kaatne ke liye they were rewarded with high yield of wheat rewarded they got the gift they got the reward okay they were rewarded rewarded means we can say पुरस्कार देना ओके पुरस्कृत किया गया उन्हें दे गेट दे गॉट उन्हें पाया हाई ईल्ड ऑफ व्हीट इन पालमपुर द ईल्ड ऑफ व्हीट ग्रोन फ्रॉम द ट्रेडिशनल वैरायटीज वाज 1300 केजी पर हेक्टेयर मींस इफ देयर इज एन एरिया ऑफ 1 हेक्टेयर ओके इन दैट 1 हेक्टेयर according to traditional varieties they were gaining they were producing only 1300 kg wheat okay but lekin with the help of hy seeds the yield bent up to 3200 kg per hectare mean same place on the same place when they used hyv or modern farming it became 
3200 kg the production was 3200 kg means more than two times of traditional varieties traditional pattern more than two times 1300 3200 13 to 2600 and 2600 plus 6 okay means more than two more than twice uh, more than two two times there was a large increase in the production of wheat cause of this the production increase in wheat farmers now had gathered sorry greater amount of surplus wheat to sell in the markets now they have sufficient they have extra they have extra wheat to sell in the markets okay that was the another method to increase the more than two increase the production okay and it's also called modern farming what we have need for modern farming farm machinery tractor thrashers diesel fuel hy seeds high yielding varieties of seeds fertilizers pesticides means insecticides dams for water irrigations electricity we have need and pump set or tube bells canals modern farming method hyv seeds chemical fertilizers etc okay let's see the next point next topic will the land sustain sustain means preserve right its synonyms preserve means isko banaye rakhna isko acche se sambhalna okay we can also say sambhalna ke zameen ko land ko can be can handle it can we sustain it you can write preserve p r e s e r v e preserve land being a natural resource it is necessary to be very careful in its use we know that land is free of gift of nature okay mostly the natural resources these all are natural resources and these are free gift of nature and we should respect them we should preserve them we should keep it careful we should uh, use it carefully it's our duty scientific reports indicate that the modern farming method have overused the natural resources base here you can see we were now we can take we can product we can produce more than two times as before but here we can see if we will do this it will overuse the natural resources okay it indicates indicate means indication is related to indication and indication means ishara karna signal dena signal s i g n a l or hint h i n t it's hint us it that the modern farm method are overused overused means what is the mean of overused over use means use too much jyada istemal karna in many areas green revolution is associated with loss of fertility due to increased use of chemical fertilizers in many area of india in many area of india green revolution is associated green revolution ko joda gaya is associated associated means jodna jode shamil hue include okay you can write included i n c l u d e d included with the loss of fertility due to increase use of chemical fertilizers means when people started using chemical fertilizers in the field the fertility the soil fertility also decreased it's lost the soil fertility 
also continuous use of ground water for tube well irrigation has reduced the water level below the ground tube well was very good for irrigation okay first of all who introduced government installed tube wells then people started their own private tube well but now you can see the using of tube well what was the result it reduced the water level below the ground environmental resources like soil fertility and ground water are built up over many areas environmental resources like soil fertility and ground water built up means increase vriddhi karna badhana in many years okay sorry years in many years environmental resource okay they increase the soil fertility and ground water once destroyed it is very difficult to restore them on increasing them environmental resource help but if they will destroyed once it is very difficult to restore them okay we must take care of the environment to ensure future development of agriculture if we will not use it in a proper way then what will happen it will destroyed it will lose its fertility there is no production will be there there is no water will be there under the ground below the ground okay so it's our duty and environment to ensure future if you want to ensure ensure means what is the means of ensure ensure means confirm write the meaning ensure means confirm C O N F I R M confirm future development of agriculture. If we want to confirm a good development in agriculture, then we should we must take care of environment. Okay. Now see third point is the concept of land, labor, and capital. What is the mean of this we will see in the paragraph distribution of land how the land has been distributed let's see you must have realized how important land is for farming how much important okay it's our work we will we should see that how much we are using the farming how much land is there for farming unfortunately not all the people engaged in agriculture have sufficient land for cultivation not all the people engaged in agriculture there are lots of people but they are not all people are not related are not engaged jude nahi hai are not engaged they are वो जुड़े नहीं है किससे एग्रीकल्चर से इन पालमपुर अबाउट वन थर्ड ऑफ द फोर फोर फिफ्टी फैमिलीज आर लैंडलेस इन द स्टार्टिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट सेवेंटी परसेंट पीपल्स आर देयर हु इंगेज इन एग्रीकल्चर बट सम ऑफ देम आर लेबरर्स सम ऑफ देम आर फार्मर्स एंड सम आर फार्म लेबर्स and here you can see one third of the 450 families are landless 450 families okay one third of the 450 families means 150 families are there that is 150 families most of them dalit have no land for cultivation okay there is some people called dalits have no land for cultivation they do not have the land then of remaining families who on land 240 families cultivated small plots of land less than 2 hectare in size okay some of them have some of remaining families have their own land but there are 250 family 
240 family which have small plots and less than 2 hectare I have told you a SI unit hectare okay is less than 2 hectare cultivation of such plots does not bring adequate income to the farmers family on cultivation on cultivating on this land which is less than 2 hectare which not bring wo yani karte hain nahi laate hain that such plots does not brings adequate income adequate means sufficient right here sufficient s u double f i c i e n t sufficient income to the farmer family okay class if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and you can also write in your copy next page so on the next page here the, it's a story of Gobind okay through this we will understand it more in 1960 Gobind was a farmer with 2.25 hectares of largely unirrigated land means Gobind was a farmer who has not a big place big land for a uh, crop for cultivation he has a small place a small plot we can say and also largely unirrigated there is no irrigation facilities is there with the help of his three sons Gobind cultivated the land means Gobind has how many sons Gobind has Gobind has three sons and with the help of them he cultivated the land though they did not live very comfortably the family managed to feed itself with a little bit of extra income from one super fellow that the family possessed possessed it's called possessed possessed means means obtain or got 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 means pana mila apne paas rakta okay they are not living very well they are not living comfortable and the family managed they managed feed itself with a little bit of they got some extra income with the help of the fellow which they have they got some years after Govind's death when Govind died this land was divided among his three sons how many sons he has three sons means that land that place which he have also divided in three point three part each one now has a plot of land that is only 0 0.75 hectare in size now it is divided in three parts and every sun got in 0 0.75 hectare in size means less than one hectare Even with improved irrigation, the modern farming method, Govind's sons are not able to make a link from their land. Okay, they know. They know about the modern farming, but they are unable to use that because that is very costly also. They are very hard to live. Okay, they are not able to make a living from their land they are unable to earn their livelihood from their land they have to look for additional work during work during part of the year okay sometimes most of the times in a year they try to search a another work additional means another work for their livelihood you can see the large number of small plots is scattered around the village in the picture 1.5 where is 1.5 picture 
okay so here is 1.5 picture palampur distribution of cultivated land let's see see here some have big plots some have a small more than big okay some have some also small and here you can see how many times they have divided very small plots in comparison to comparison in that okay see these are cultivated by the small farmers on the other hand more than half the area of the village is covered by plot that are quite large in size okay this small work you can see uh, you have seen before in picture 1.5 small plots also cultivated by small farmers but in other hand more than half of the area of the place is covered by plots that are quite large in size okay some are very small some are very large in palampur there are 60 families of medium and large farmers who cultivated more than 2 hectare of the land okay there how many families are there there are 60 families which are medium and large farmers they have more than 2 hectare a few of large farmers have land extending over 10 hectare or more mean some of large farmers some of them who are very large farmer having more than 10 hectare how much 10 hectare okay and extending extending there here is a word extending means spread isko fela diya isko bada diya vistar kiya spread s p r e a d okay spread now next point who will provide the labor who will provide the labor it's also a challenge who will work who will work in the field let's see after land labor is the next necessary factor for production means first of all we need for the cultivation for the production for the cultivation we need the land first and then next the things which we have need the labor okay the next labor is the next necessary factor for production farming requires a great deal hard work okay farming requires requires means need hoti. what is the means of require require means aushakta okay demand d e m a n d demand farming demand a great deal of hard work it's need a big work okay big hard work small farmers along with their families cultivate their own fields small farmers okay with their families member they cultivated their own field they thus they provide the labors required for farming themselves by this they provide the the labor to their field but medium and large farmers hire far laborers to work on their field who medium and large farmers because they have a big they have big places they have big field they have big area okay so what they did they hire hire means kiraya okay so you can also write the word rent r e n t rent okay they hire farm laborers wo kya karte hain farm laborers ko kya karte hain kiraye pe unke unko kaam karwate hain unse okay to work on their fields next farm laborers come either from landless families or families cultivating small plots of land 
farm laborers farm laborers are those who are either they don't have any plots or having small plots unlike farmers farm laborers do not have a right over the crops grown on the land okay same as farmers the farm laborers also do not have the right they do not have the right that whatever crops how much crops are grown in the land they do not rights over that crop instead they are paid wages by the farmers for whom they work okay here you can see a word is used wages wages means it's also pronounced wages wages means mazduri okay you can write wages means mazduri and you can also write labor charged labor l a b o u r labor charges c h a r g e s okay so they got only labor charge they got only daily wages okay they do not have the right on the crop wages can be in cash or in kind that is crop many times the big farmers paid them in cash or sometimes they give them crop sometimes laborers get meals also okay sometimes they also got the meals meals means food okay meals meals means food as you have known a uh, scheme government scheme mid day meal what is mid day meals so that word meals means food wages vary widely from region to region from crop to crop from one farm activity to another vary vary means here one word is used very very means different okay and also we can say change c h a n g badalna alag alag okay different so these are these are different widely from region to region and crop to crop and place to place means every place have different wages like sowing and harvesting the charge for sowing and harvesting are different sowing means beej bona okay it's also called boai okay there is also a wide variation in the duration of employment there is also a wide variation variation means what is the mean of variation means transform or change there is also a wide change in the duration of employment employment means rozgar okay and there is a big difference a farm laborers might be employed on a daily basis or for one particular farm activity like harvesting or for the whole year a farm laborers might be he depend on him that he is depend on his work that he is on daily basis he is working on daily basis or the whole year what he did what is his work it depend on him okay class and you can see there is another story is there which we will see in next video we have completed it till here it's your homework that you will read the remaining chapter you will read whatever i have explained to you you will find out hard words you will write all these in your copy okay thank you